Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Charterman, Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Greedy comics, toys are hella sick Hell whackin' it, take a bad hit Take a bad hit, Charterman uh, Subscribe You up to the challenge of making that custom, huh? Are you? Are you? Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another DC Collectibles action figure review on the DC Collectibles Harley Quinn Expressions Pack from Batman the Animated Series. If you're trying to pick this up, you can do so at big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And I gotta give a big thanks to DC Collectibles for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from DC Collectibles, check out the link in the description below and I love Harley Quinn and seeing all these different expressions over here and plus her babies and all kinds of extra accessories looking pretty cool so far though the Batman logo right over there well it's not the Batman logo it's Batman animated series image and then on the very back you can see that there's a read up over here if you want to read it go ahead and pause it now there's an expressions pack for the Joker which I don't have but I do have the Batman and then on the side you can see some vents right over here I like this little gold sticker for the 20 years 1998 to 2018 and then on the very top it says Batman the animated series and then not much going on at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's our expressions pack Harley Quinn figure out of the packaging, holding just two of her many accessories. This is a very fun figure. I've had a lot of fun taking a lot of pictures of this. Uh, I do have gripes about the figure though. Uh, mostly, number one gripe is that she's very difficult to stand. But she is holding two of her accessories, that bazooka being a little on the heavier side, and she is standing just fine on this rotating base, but it was tricky to get her to do so. But again, this figure is really all about the accessories. So let's get a closer look at those and then we'll get a closer look at Harley Quinn. Now here's everything that we get with this figure except for all the interchangeable heads. As you can see, we get this little instruction sheet right here, which is very useful to have. I'm glad they included this. Very nifty display stand that we're seeing right here. We get this huge clear display stand that I've never seen from DC Collectibles before. You could port this stand into any of these holes that you're seeing right here. So that's pretty nifty and then you get these screws where you could tighten each of these joints and then we get a clamp right over here which is pretty nifty kind of has a spring-loaded feeling you know it wants to go back so that is pretty cool that we get that uh, and then we also get the bazooka which you saw just a minute ago looking like it's straight out of the cartoon I like that we get the boxing glove right there and that's pretty neat that you could take that off uh, we also get this smoking gun which looks great I love this smoke effect that looks awesome sorry my fingers a little beat up right there but yeah that's a very nice looking gun you could take that out if you'd like you could go ahead and port uh, the boxing glove right onto the gun if you wish to do that and then we also get this little bottle which I don't remember exactly what episode this is from or anything but you could port this into the gun as well so that's pretty cool that you could do that uh, we get a pair of fisted hands and then you can see the left sides are black we get gun holding hands and then we also get these flat hands right here uh, we get a pair of interchangeable roller uh, roller skates for each side so you can get her uh, roller skating I don't remember exactly which episode she used these the only image I was able to find was this one right here and she's not even in her Harley Quinn outfit so yeah it's kind of tricky you know getting this displayed but just to demonstrate you just port off the feet like so and then find the appropriate uh, roller skate and then you just port it right on there uh, these don't churn or anything like that so that's uh, a little unfortunate but not a big deal and then we also get a Batman utility belt made out of very soft rubbery material I think she stole this from Batman at one point I can't remember exactly uh, when that was but if you want to wrap it around her waist I think she wears it I could be totally mistaken uh, she also comes with her Joker cane which is great I like that very very cool and then she comes with her babies which is awesome I love having the hyenas I didn't get the other hyenas so I'm happy to have these ones right here these are very cute so you have this one right here with the closed mouth then we get the other one uh, that's laughing and uh, yeah with the open mouth right there nice clean paint apps on these I really like them as far as articulation goes you could turn the head side to side and shift up and down just a little bit uh, the tail could rotate 360 and then the legs can move forward that much back that much the hind legs can move forward a tiny bit and back a whole lot more so and then lastly we have the fish head I love that Joker threw this on her I think this is like a little mascot thing they threw on her uh, to put this on the Harley Quinn figure you have to pop her head off and then of course you probably want to have the hands on there already but you can see that there's a little port right on the inside 
And you just get that attached, and then we get Harley Quinn with the fish right there on her head. Yeah, see, she's kind of tricky to stand, but I want to show this. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, so looking at it from a little farther back, I think that's pretty cool. I really like those eyes. It doesn't match up perfectly, but hey, yeah, it does the job. I think it's pretty nifty. I like it. And nice yellow paint right there for the fish eyes and everything. That's pretty cool. And it's made out of fairly soft material. So we get these eight interchangeable heads with Harley Quinn. Uh, first off, we get the Harley Quinn Zell head sculpt, which is the first time I'm owning one of these. So I'm pretty excited for that. I like those bright blue eyes. It looks really good. Nice solid yellow paint for the blonde hair. So I'm digging that. Very pretty looking Harley Quinzel. And then we get this worried looking facial expression right here. And I gotta say I like how they all have this little bit of a bluish hue to the white portion of her face. I think that's pretty neat. But very nice clean paint apps right there. Uh, we get this angry looking face. You know, mouth open and everything. I like that. Uh, we get this smoochy face. I don't know. I use this for her kissing her babies. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, we get the, you know, the sinister winking one right there. I like that. And then we get the regular uh, standard issue head that we'd seen on the previous version. And then we get the sad Harley Quinn right there. I like how they have these white eyebrows. And then we get the very surprised Harley Quinn. So they all look really good. And they all port onto the head of the fig or onto the body very easily. So that's pretty nifty. I like that. And to go over the Harley Quinn articulation, which I think is a bit on the weak side, uh, you can't really get her head looking up too much. It's not a ball joint, but just the way it's sculpted over here, uh, you can't really get her looking up. Uh, she'll look down just a tiny bit. You get side to side motion, of course, and some head pivoting, but just only the tiniest bit. Shoulders can move outward only that far. I wouldn't push it more than that. You can rotate full 360 if you want to get the arms up. Uh, you get a single jointed elbow that bends right at 90 degrees and it rotates, and then all the wrists turn side to side and hinge up and down. No torso articulation. Uh, hips move outward very far, and she can't, well, she could probably do this full on splits. Yep, there it goes. So she can do the full on splits, and she can kick forward that much and back that much and no rotation throughout the leg. Uh, you get a single jointed knee and then you only get rotation at the ankles and I really wish these had ankle pivot. I would be willing to sacrifice the roller skates so I could have ankle pivot. She's just very tricky to stand. And to measure out this Harley Quinn figure, you could see that she is standing just a little under five and a half inches tall. And then for your DC Collectibles Batman Animated Series Harley Quinn figure comparison, we have the original version which is actually that one right there and then here's the Expressions Pack version right here and you can see that they have the same face a very subtle difference between these two is that you can see that we get a little bit of that bluish hue in this piece right around the neck I don't know what to call that collar thing so these fall over pretty easy and then this is all pure white uh, this figure does have the ankle pivot but no side to side motion throughout the whole leg uh, this one has a side to side motion at the foot but no ankle pivot so it would have been cool to have a combination of both of those pieces of articulation so a uh, bit of a bummer now you can pop off the head of the original DC collectibles Harley Quinn, but putting on one of these expression pack heads on there, I mean, it'll fit, but it's not a snug fit at all, so uh, you can make it work, but it's just a little tricky to work with. And then here's Harley Quinn next to a couple other DC Collectibles Batman animated series figures. We have the Joker and we have Batman. And I did pick up the Batman Expressions Pack from Comic and Figure Addicts, and I just ordered the Joker Expressions Pack from BBTS. Uh, I want to know if you guys want to see reviews of both of those Expressions Packs. But anyway, uh, you can see how she stands next to these two. And I definitely had to get the expressions pack for this Batman. Look, he's got some scuffage here, some scuffage there. So yeah, that had to be done. The Joker, you know, with all those facial expressions, I had to get that one too. And then here's the expressions pack Harley Quinn figure next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Aw, why Harley Quinn's so sad? Oh! I'm glad you feel better. I gotta give you guys a big thanks for hanging out with me here on this YouTube channel and watching my video, especially those of you that watch all the way from the beginning to the end. It really does help out this YouTube channel, as well as when you hit that like button if you like the video, and please let me know what you think of this figure, as well as the review in the comment section below. And if you have not hit subscribe yet, please hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell. And I like this figure set. This is fun to accessorize. I gotta say, I really got lost taking a lot of pictures, and I really enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy the lack of articulation though that's a big bummer for me uh, I just wish that she had better leg articulation the torso articulate or the upper body articulation isn't so bad uh, she doesn't have any torso articulation either so just a couple of extra cuts on the figure like one waist swivel and then thigh swivels that would have just made a huge difference for this figure for me so I really do like the accessories I like all the facial expressions I love having the hyenas uh, we've seen some of the accessories before but it's great having this pack of everything all together right here so I do enjoy it 
it, and I am giving it a sud rating of... It's not so bad. And again, I am curious to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see the latest in action figure news and forums, you can find it all over at toynewseye.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on the social media, you can follow me over on the Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Links to everything in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, let me show them Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.